Welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. This is the best of and most usable clips from our 400th episode live stream. If you want to check out the whole thing, it's up on YouTube. Eight hours, and we raised over $800 while doing it. Here's the show. Can't get the number wrong, so. True, I definitely cannot get the number wrong. No, it says we are live. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. I'm your sexy ranch hand co-host, Calden S. This is episode 400. Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. Oh, this is where I would play the music now. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional Hero Clicks now. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? It's the dead hand. Be really weird if they can't hear this. <laughs> so we're just we're just vibing. We're just totally vibing, and it's just like they hear nothing. Dial H for Hero Clicks is brought to you in part by CoolStuffInc.com. You can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Clicks singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Joining me, like always, in the studio is your Dial H for Hero Clicks champ. Why don't you have the belt? Where's the belt? Oh, Why don't you, what, what are you luckily, doing? we're live. So yeah. I can yeah. Just... <laughs> you just go grab Step it. Step off. Nah, uh, Simeon Bruce, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there it is. Doesn't quite fit anymore, but yeah. Oh, really? Dang. <laughs> Dang. Oh, it's like, adjustable, wow. of course. I mean, it's, I was like, I'm about to say, I've got like four or five like snaps to that thing. You'd have to be a uh, like top eight, make a tournament size to not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> like always, like to start off. Uh, well, first of all, as you don't no doubt tell, we're live. We're live on YouTube. We haven't done this in over a year. We haven't done it in for sure a hundred episodes. It was March or something of twenty twenty. March of twenty twenty. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Bill, you can hear us. Thank you for. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't ruin all of the intro. Yeah. Uh, ah. James, I'm glad you made it at least to the chat. Yep. Uh, hope you're keeping safe and warm down in the frigid. Kansas. He's up in the air right now. <coughs> is he? Is seems, that what he said? It, seems, it looks like she, up in the jet, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Benny wow. and the jets, dude. We've got people at some sort of altitude, sort of altitude. watching us right now. Uh, so right now, if you are watching this live on YouTube and you are not in our Discord server that is for the charity auction... Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to try to do our best to lean into the mics here. Uh, we'll, we'll do what we can. Anyways, if you are not yet in the charity auction, Discord, there should be a link in the description. If there isn't, I'll uh, pop in a comment. If you don't see a link in the description, let me know, and then I'll comment it on my phone on this live stream. But that is going to be how you're going to donate. So as you can see here, no, wait, here, uh, you'll see all of the stuff that you can make us do on stream. You are going to donate to either uh, the American Cancer Society or Modest Needs, which both links are also in that Discord server. Once you donate, you'll send us a screenshot of your donation, and then Simi and I will do whatever you want us to do on that donated list thing right there. So, yeah, and feel free to uh, in the chat if you can think of something. If you if you have something that you're like, I'm willing to donate twenty dollars to watch one of you do X. Um, can't guarantee that we'll be able to do it, but you know, throw it out there. We might. Who knows? Yeah. So, you know, um, I know there was some. Alex said he wanted me to sing one of my songs. There's all sorts of stuff. All you have to do... Okay, Link is in there. Thank you, Tristan. Uh, Simeon sounds awesome. Calder's mic is off being picked up from Simeon. Ooh. Hopefully. Oh, man. All right. Let me double check uh, our settings. To screw with settings here a little bit. Uh, mess with the settings. Just a touch. Just a touch. Uh, to see how... Uh-oh. Is that one falling? <laughs> That's okay. We have not literally done a live stream in 300, 300 100 episodes. Does Calder sound good now? It'll take a little while for you guys to hear this. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wow. put this. In between us. You're gonna I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put it right up in the air there. Okay. Above. The <clears throat> I guess I can put it in this dead space too. There's this huge there border go. that's not yeah. being used. Yeah. Um. Yes. Uh. So. 
except they don't see that until I hit transition. There, there we go. We go. Hey. <laughs> so you get $20 to send in to the can't pick and read on air. Yes. As long as it is PG-13. <laughs> as long as it's PG-13 or PG. Heck, it could be G. There's nothing wrong with some G fan fiction. Uh, saying nope, that's Simeon Osbit. Dang. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll pay. We'll try to pay attention to my mic. If not, yeah, I might have to share mics. If might have to. Yeah, we might have to duel mic. a single mic. Yeah. If the if the other one's not picking up. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, Simeon, what made you happy this week, my man? Uh, this week, what made me happy was uh, pulling my dog's collar off so he stops jingling. Uh, but uh, what really made me happy was going to my local venue. Uh, we got didn't know if we were going to have a pre-release, but we got a surprise shipment of War of Realms in. So I got to play with a little bit of War of Realms sealed. And that was really exciting. That was really fun. I hadn't really looked at a ton of the set. Uh, we did like a little bit of overview, but I hadn't been keeping up with much past that. And so I was pleasantly surprised. Um yeah, it was pretty fun. Did you, um, this is a purely selfish um, inquiry, but did you save any of it so we could film like a video, like a Rise and Fall S? <laughs> no. Or did they not let you buy any? No, we only had the one uh, case. So, yeah, with the amount of people we had there, yeah, it was just enough to. Calder's mic was not on. Is it on now? <laughs> Wow. We, <laughs> hey, I mean, Omaha's uh, got its own uh, cryptids. There could be like an do, Omaha do Chewbacca. You? Yeah, there's do you? the, well, it's technically Council Bluffs. You have the um, injured <laughs> sign guy? Yeah, we've got the, uh, <laughs> he'll, he'll the actually... split head uh, Barry Law. Injured? You will be soon. <laughs> All right. They're saying it's better. They're saying it's better. Okay. It's better, but they prefer if we share. Well, life ain't fair. You don't hey. get us to share. Um, Calder, what made you happy other than <laughs> other than having to redo our intro so, when I upload this to the podcast later? I am a glutton for punishment that is um, theater, community theater. So I started a new show. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet on the podcast or not. Uh, started a new show. It is called I Hate Hamlet. I am the ghost in that show, Barrymore. And this week was our first. We had last night was our very first night off book for act one. So, uh, I finally got to do all my lines for Act 1 basically correctly uh, off book. There was only really about two big lines that I didn't quite get. So, the memorization is taking. It's working. It's all doing good. Uh, other things that made me happy, just sort of like things that were happening, you know? Playing Casey's Mod, Inscription. Uh, I just had to say that in front of you, just so you know that you, you, you still don't, cannot you don't have it. Casey's mod for your inscription because you got it on the Epic Game Store because you're cheap. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, I was. I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong, obviously. Yeah. But um, they added this new thing where the starting decks you get decks right, you get three cards and you get two um, pelt cards, and you instantly get a trade for cards right away. So you get okay. to add two new cards to your deck, right? You get a, like a little bit of like build yeah, your deck you, you from the start. Deck, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yep. So. There's this new deck where it's literally it's three eggs. They all cost one bone. They're not like normal eggs where they hatch after a turn. You have to meet three requirements to get all these eggs, okay? You have to get one through five in health. So you have to have one creature with one health, two health, three health, four health, and five health in your deck. Also, that, but with strength or power, whatever you want to call okay. it, attack, right? right? So you have to have one, two, three, four, five attack. And then you need a creature of every single tribe. Um, so... It, I have tried to play this run twice, and I've gotten all the way to the moon at the end of the run without reaching, like, with being just one off. That's as close as I got. Oh. So, like, the eggs, they're not, like, necessary to the run. It sucks that your starting hand basically is, like, whatever two creatures, whatever two animals you choose right away, which really sucks. Um, but besides that, yeah, it's, so it's like really, it's RNG just RNG can, like, mess you up from, from the beginning. From the beginning, yeah. yeah. So it is in tougher run. And if you had to do that with, like, any challenge, I've played it with no challenges yet, and I still haven't popped it off. Uh, Marlon Scott, yeah, you mentioned how happy it is, isn't a musical. Oh, yeah. Oh, so here's the the worst part about this one, is, like, the musical was all singing and dancing, right? And set changes. This show, no set changes, love it, awesome. But they're going to make me dance, and they're going to make me sing. And I'm like, why? I'm the least qualified person to do either of those things. And it's like, it says he hums in this scene. How about instead of humming, you sing this song from the 
uh, 1970-something Rufus Wainwright opera. And I'm like, what? But why? <laughs> but for what reason, why? Uh, I could do a low-budget one-man show of The Mandalorian. You might know how much tinfoil I have. It's fairly much easier to get than Beskar. But that is what made me happy this week. Uh, this episode, we have a few different segments planned, and those segments will be gladly interrupted by uh, any donations. I will try to stay on top of yeah. uh, live stream donations. Sync, <laughs> let's see, he did make a quick donation. So Alex did, looks like he did 75 bucks, which is pretty amazing, pretty solid. Thank you so much. I believe you did so, that to your donation there, Simeon. Okay. So uh, let us know in either the chat in Discord or the chat here in the live stream, Sin. I assume that's Sin or Sign. Um, let us know what you want us to do with that 75 bucks, and we'll get it to you. Your your beard's not going to make it. No. The next, like, so, hour. yeah, I, I need to update it yeah. because uh, we are currently uh, the cumulative goal that we are going for yeah. before the beard gets shaved. Is there, is there a way to make Simeon and Calder how much I have, how much you have? Uh, there, there would. It's just... You have to keep more track. Oh, okay. Um, All right. That might be a little too hard. So, anyway. 75 plus we started. Uh, with 105. With 105. 50, so. 105.50 cents. So, we're at 180.50. 180.50. 180.50. 180. Yeah. Hot dog. I love it. Uh, I am still in lead, however. Uh, <laughs> and, of course, so the auction has also started. I'm going to do a really quick at everyone as well in the Discord. Auction has started. Simply respond to a picture of it and you'll be able to um bid so oh he says use his donation as retaliation as needed oh uh, calder oh okay justin so justin so. uh he donated earlier this week okay. so i have that much to play around with that i love see that's why i love being an american because he's just giving me the choice <laughs> to use everything for whatever i want on that beautiful list on that list right there I'm um, I'm ready. I'm ready. And it's, he said in retaliation, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna open. I'm not gonna open. I'm not gonna. Start. Uh, so yeah, just uh, just to go over the rules again. If anyone's new, uh, if anyone didn't hear, um, all this stuff, the list up here. Um, these are if you donate to modest needs or Calder's charity, United Ameri Way, American, American Way. Cancer Society. American, it's so hard to remember. So many words I don't know. Um, if you donate to either of those, and we have the links in the to those in the description. Uh, and then when you donate, send a screenshot of your donation so that we can verify that you've donated. And then with that screenshot, if you want to say, like, one of these things, if you want some random hat pulls, uh, can we see the chair? Yes. Yes, you may see the oh, chair. Oh, the one I'm going to hit you with? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can... oh, you're going to hit? Yeah, the one, that, hit the one that someone might hit someone with. <laughs> That's fine. It already broke this week. <laughs> uh, it's the chair. Um, we can we can we it. test the chair? You're gonna have to donate for us to test the chair. <laughs> Five, half donation to I just mean, test the chair. The chair is in the the hat. We we've hit we've hit each other with the chair before. That's true. Like we, yeah. this is this is this the same chair? Yeah yeah oh okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 the I very same the, chair. Yeah I yeah. wouldn't buy another black folding chair. I mean to just keep around. So what I've seen, so what I've seen in the wrestling ring, um, if people are too scared to get hit by the chair, um, normally, a lot of times in wrestling, the aggressor will actually bring out the chair but never get to use it. I'm sure this is a trope plenty of you have seen, but the, if the aggressor knows he's going to get hit by the chair in retaliation to bringing it out, uh, they will stomp down on this rim. Because you can see how that's like whatever. Yeah. So most of the times they'll stomp on this rim. You can see it's it's out a little bit more than the flat of the back. That is like a just in case if they know they're going to get hit a few times with the chair. Um, I can stomp it. Down notoriously, down. notoriously, Bradshaw took a uh, unstomped chair, like really bad shot to the head in retaliation for beating up the blue meanie that one time, and split him quite a bit open. Yeah. Um, I'm allowed to break, <laughs> break K -fabe. K -fabe. Uh Donnie Pepper Cricket doesn't know where I'm at. How do we I'm know it's not tonight? rigged? You never know anything's not rigged. Chance, this is True. America, and this is the world. Everything's rigged. You should know that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't um, know if that was supposed to be, like, at a us, smart sure. thing for me to say. Mm. Well, I mean, I just meant, like, that is wasn't as... Is anything a smart thing for you to it say? It wasn't as is anything deep you say as sound I smart? thought it was going to be. Uh, this is... So... 
All right, the charity items. The charity items for the charity auction, which well, no. is bidding. Oh, you're doing the This hat. is just a hat. The hat. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, We're doing the hat. So for any donation of $5, you'll Good. get a draw one of these. So we've got things in here like, I don't know if you can read this, but it's a shot of Frank's. Uh, Frank's <sighs> Red Hot. So if you donate $5, you'll potentially draw something like that. Yep. Uh, most of the things in this hat are the $10 options. Um just a fun way to kind of gamble. You might get one of the big items. You might get one of the small items, uh, but something happens either way. So, uh, kind of a fun little. When we um, when we going. pull out of the hat, are they gone? They're like one and done. Or we put it back uh, in the hat, or what do we think? I think yes. Put it back because that hat. yeah. If it's, it's like one of the ten dollar items, then that increases the chances for one of the bigger ones later on. Okay. But it is a max of four hat per buys person. per person. Okay. So. Yeah, not going to let anyone like sit there and make us read like 50 my, my off. My phone has battery. I'm going to do my best to pay attention. Uh, he says he wants to see $60 worth of sweet unreleased footage. The oh. rest will be a chair shot to Calder for destroying that guy's whole team with Guy Gardner. Oh, man, that was months ago. And that was, come on, that's what everybody wants to do with Guy Gardner. All right. Um, unreleased unreleased footage, footage first. Uh, so weird thing that's going to happen with this unreleased footage. Um I'm going to do a little bit of backstory first. Um, I should have given options for unreleased footage, but uh, I, mean, I mean, I could right now, you honestly. Still, you can still have options. So he said three unreleased <sighs> footage? 60 bucks, right? It's $20 for unreleased $20 footage. dollars each, yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. I don't actually think I have a whole lot on here. I you think actually it's... only have that. <laughs> We're going to blow through it? all of our unreleased footage. Man, uh, actually, we have the first trailer. That's I mean, on YouTube. Yes, right? that we is on YouTube. Trailer. We do have that. We can we play that. that. We have that. Um, I do have just a ton is of random anime? stuff. Yeah, I was. Uh, it's. Oh, I was dude. looking for the clip where he's like, "Delete my hard drive." <laughs> <laughs> I, I made a gif okay. of that. Um, okay. Like, off to Origins one. I see. There's the, your sister's makeup video, uh, with you in it. Oh yeah. All yeah. right. Like I don't know yet. what I was doing with that. Um, yeah. Anyhow, back to so. A little bit of backstory for this. We won't be able to hear if the noise is actually coming through when I play this. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on the chat to make sure. Um, but let's see here. Uh, so if you guys have seen the History Channel's Drunk History, I think it's History. Channel. I think it's Comedy Central. It does oh. it. I don't think it's History Channel. Well, it beats Ancient Aliens. Um, <laughs> what? So what? Comedy Central's uh, Drunk History Channel. Uh, uh, we decided to do a Drunk History. So everything that you're gonna see is the uncut footage. I haven't edited it yet. We've got a whole bunch of work left. It's gonna be a fun video if it ever gets done. It's just a massive undertaking, and so I haven't even yeah. like seriously started it. Uh, but I should be able to just... But, I mean, in order for us to seriously start this video, um, we need to, like, get our projects done that we have. Yes. Well, maybe not. And then yeah. we also need to... we got to clean up... We need to get, like, actors house. and actresses and, like, people right. to play if we want to play the figures or play us. And we have to find location or locations or just, yeah. like, places. We, yeah. It, it, would, would, it would be a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But it'd be fun. It would be really um, fun. It would be amazing. It'd be great. This is not like at all. This is before I got started. So in order, if you've seen Drunk History, yeah. obviously the people that are telling the history are drunk when they tell the history. Um, and uh, if you haven't seen, I guess, then that's the description. So what I essentially was going to do here was get real drunk and then tell a story about uh, a clicks tournament that I was they in. Won. That yeah. I Yeah, that I ended up spoiler winning. Alert, sorry, uh, sorry. Yeah, spoiler, I'm a winner. Um, but, uh, this is me getting in the very drunk mood. So this is me like several whiskeys deep and I'm like adding a beer just to get the right point where I can still talk. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. I like it. You don't say drinking some water. No, 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 no. I'm going to add a beer. All right. What's the size of your suit? Alex asks. Ooh, uh, too small for me. Um, I oh too small for you yeah it Dang. like honestly like I can't oh. move a whole lot in it uh, I think I'm like 38 inch chest okay uh, uh, I don't know I got my measurements taken not too long ago but I have no clue uh, Bill wants a hat pull we just got Bill oh shoot wait I have to get chair shot first that's right you're taking chair I shot I have to take a chair shot no you give I'm me taking... a chair shot oh, yes. let me double check <laughs> wait wait <laughs> yeah. uh see I want to see sixty dollars of unreleased footage hopefully you like that unreleased yeah, footage I hope that was close um, enough to <laughs> a chair shot to Calder yeah so chair shot to Calder 
make sure. Oh, and I'll take my jacket off so you can see there's no padding. <laughs> just, just let me have it. Just, you know. Ah, are we, are we in it? Is this good? Do you have enough stone oh. space? We'll see here in a second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna wait for it to. Uh, Discord link in the chat. The link in the description isn't working since so it's expired. Ah, uh, yes, I'll put that in there right now. Yes, as we're waiting. To, yep, we're in the shot. Okay, um, I'm gonna put it in there. You just hit me whenever. I don't even do it. I don't care. Oh, God. that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> oh. Dang. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, oh. as Caller was talking, if we had if we had bent that oh. down. Oh, you dick! As it is now bent down. <laughs> Um, so hopefully that's the last chair shot of the night. Uh, uh as Calder was, was talking about, swing. sometimes they bend down those, uh, ridges before they get hit, but, uh, it is now bent down a little bit. So there's that. <laughs> that was good. Mm. Mm. That was good. <laughs> Let me get the discord link in there. Wow. That's just gonna... That's going to resonate all night. There's no sense in Sperman. That's just going to... It's going to be there. I just have to exist with that. Yeah. Uh, Let's right. stick around like a shot of Frank's Red Hot. Don't. Don't. Oh, yeah. Uh, hat pull. Bill wants a hat pull real quick. Oh, that's Bill's right. Bill's got a hat pull. Hat pull. If it's chair shot, I get it. I didn't no sell. You see that? Simeon no sold the first chair shot of Extreme <laughs> Rules. No sold it like crazy. That's my, my whole um, life is no selling. Yeah. Give me, let me put the link in the description here really quick, and then we'll do uh, Bill's thing. Yeah. New Patreon goal. Send call to the chiropractor. Don't get me started on chiropractors. <laughs> uh, when beard is shaved, pick a style. So, Bill, right. when the beard gets shaved, Bill. pick a style. Um, <laughs> hey, Devin, how's it going? Might have missed Calder's chair shot. <laughs> I'm that's sorry. true. Justin uh, did say, actually, more. let's do one quick chair shot, because uh, Justin did say I have plenty of ammo, so I'm going to chair <sighs> shot you back really quick. Uh, we just updated the Discord. If you, or actually, um, if the link for Modest Needs um, or the American Cancer American Cancer Society, society. Yeah. it's a Society for American Cancer. Um, if Americans either of those links, cancer. we just need a screenshot of the donation. Uh, you can pick any of these things, um, and then yeah, send us the donation the image and then whatever you want us to do what you're paying for essentially uh and again i guess i don't know if i mentioned this at this point but for every five dollars that you donate in any which way for whichever these things every five dollars gets you one raffle ticket that'll go towards some prizes and i'm not just stalling for time because calder is mad and <laughs> wants to hit me with the chair um, um Yep. You got everything? Okay. Uh, I will say, uh, sorry, my man. Uh, we're going to do our best not to swear. We keep the podcast PG-13. We don't swear normally at all in the podcast. But sometimes things are just going to make us let something slip. Just like whatever, right, Simeon? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like whatever? <laughs> I'm still oh, no <laughs> Did I hit you? Ah. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, that you might have actually popped my back there. <laughs> I gotta watch. Dude, this is, like, this is like a personal replay for it us. It felt like my eyes popped out of the sockets. Oh. Uh, how much to do my finisher? Oh my gosh. That would really hurt on this floor. That would hurt me on this floor. <laughs> like, a lot. Uh, my finisher's the bulldog, so I land right on my butt, on my tailbone. Um, mm. I would do my finisher for 40 bucks. Because that's really going to hurt. Like, a, it's going to hurt me a lot. Uh, my finisher does not add life to my career <laughs> much. Um, Seth Rollins had the I hate I mean, Seth Rollins, but he had the idea. Oh, yeah, the stomp. stomp. Uh, yeah, that's it beats, like, it beats Hogan's, uh, like, leg one, drop? one leg drop a night, yeah. 200 nights Ugh. a year, 250 nights a year for decades. Yeah. Like, Definitely beats that. I mean, what do you, he had like four or five inches shorter from back surgery because he did that. He had like multiple crushed vertebrae. Um, yeah, bad stuff. If you have you ever seen his back? I've seen uh, like right after like he's, some stitches yeah, he's got stuff. like he's got this like weird like S curve scar oh. from like all the like, different surgeries and stuff. Uh, so his spine is probably bad. So uh, Bill's style, just so you know, when we get there, it's the Tony Stark is what he wants. Ah. Uh, Okay. Dang, Bill, why'd you have to... That's a complicated okay. style. Okay, okay. Uh, 
thanks a lot. <sighs> thanks a lot, Chance. Um, gosh, you told me what your finisher Hurricana? was. Hurricana. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's actually more dangerous for whoever delivers it than for whoever <laughs> yeah. receives it at this on this floor. It's a hard tile floor. Uh, put my beard choice in the Discord. Thank you, Bill. Thank you for uh, donating. Um, if that wasn't the best hat pull that you could have gotten, then, uh, you know, you've got three more. And yeah. I will say, if you do multiple hat pulls, if you go up to, like, your four limit hat pulls and um, you get the, like, same one twice, I'll Hurricane pull again. DDT. Huracana DDT. Uh, it's different than Huracarana. Right, Huracarana. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a little bit different. So that yeah. actually would plant the other person's head. Yeah, other of... person's, yeah. 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 I would do that one for 40 bucks as well. You might have to show me how to do that again. Uh, I am in a practice. In Thank months. you. Thank you for our uh, our episode 400 in the last 100 episodes. So I did release episode 399.5, which I hope you all listened to. I had a lot of fun digging through. Um, did not get all of the stuff that, you know, obviously they could have, like, had a lot more episodes in it. Um, what's been your, like, favorite stuff in the last 100 episodes? Because that's almost oh, two years at this point. We, we've we added so much to the show in the last 100 episodes. So probably my favorite episodes were, and I don't know if the listener liked these as much as I did, but when we had guests on, those were always my favorite episodes to do. So uh, Stan Strakowski was yeah. probably one of my all-time favorite episodes, and the build-up to that, because you had me open those dice yeah. blind on air. I had no idea what they were. Um Oh, my phone. Simeon's phone's dead, uh, Devin. Chance, if you want to throw I that will in the say Discord live stream donation How much channel, to apply the walls it. of Jericho on Calder? I think that's like only like 15 bucks. 15 bucks. Yeah, I'll like snap his spine. Wow, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Oh, get chaired. Oh, it's going to be chaired again. It's going to be hard to do the walls of Jericho cuz he's taller than me. Right. So like I'm going to have to like stretch myself. Dev, I thought we were friends. <laughs> There's other things on there besides the chair. We're going to need ice in the morning. Two chair shots each. Oh, each. Wait, wait. 40 gotta, bucks. Two 40 chair bucks, shots each. You, chair get, shots you get two, I get two. Yeah. Uh, well, if you uh, liked that chair charity. shot, uh, you know. For charity. We're, we've got four more. Four more. Two each. You want to just rock. Heartbeat. You want to do two rock. or back and forth. Let's do back, back and forth. Back and forth. Uh, I got the last one. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Oh, you don't need shoulder blades. Hey, listen. Oh, okay. You don't need shoulder blades. Um, it's fine. Right. Sweet Caroline. Oh, I think that was a little low. Woo! Oh, I don't know. Woo! <laughs> oh. I feel like it mm. clipped with the wrong part first. chair shots oh man i don't know if the i don't know if the chair is gonna make it mm. who thank you uh, i'm so glad we're wearing white shirts because we're gonna know when we're bleeding yeah thank you devin of happy mm. little hero clicks for that that was yep. awesome love you dev um <sighs> oh. hey so generic keywords sure are cool yes and since we've done 400. Uh, congrats again, you two. Can't stay the whole time. Uh, lurk for a bit. Share the link on Facebook. Thank you so much, Devin. We really appreciate it. Love you too, Devin. <sighs> Love you. Um, since we've achieved 400 episodes, almost 800 YouTube subscribers, and we did get we did get quite a few... Uh, it, this is no bueno. I strike chair shots from remaining balance. <sighs> That's a lot, Justin. That's a lot. Let's um, let's let's hold up. Anyway, since we're basically celebrities, uh, <laughs> pretty in, much at this point. In I mean, the, um, yeah. yeah, basically celebrities. In HeroClix the, terms, I mean, almost a thousand subscribers. So once, we're almost monetized on YouTube. Right. That's huge. I mean, that's like, what's what's the the blonde kids? 
that were Vine famous, Jake and Logan. Paul. We're like, yeah, we're like Paul the Pauls. Uh, we're almost at that level, almost monetized. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Instead of being Disney Channel actors, we yeah. were Nickelodeon actors. <laughs> no, we weren't. So, since we're basically celebrities, uh, Simi and I have each decided to do the generic gallery this week. Why should you care? Keywords. 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 So why should you care? Keywords. It's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? Celebrity, police, past, and scientist, assassin, soldier, spy, tinker, tailor. No, they, they're not in there, but, you know, you get it. Yeah, generic gallery. You guys remember generic gallery, right? We choose a generic keyword, we build a 300 modern team, then we build a 300, 400, 500, fun, golden age, or silver age team. So, that's what we're going to do. Generic gallery, generic keyword. Celebrity has always been a weird uh, hero clicks keyword. It is, yeah. It's... It doesn't have a ton of super hard, heavy hitters when I was looking at it. You know, it, it doesn't have a lot of ten. There's no, like, 200-point celebrity. Right. Like, yeah, like there's piece. there's some good figures. And there's it's got, some solid stuff. It's very, yeah, because yeah. celebrities, in, like, the normal sense, tend to be a more, like, realistic, more, like, down-to-earth, like, human kind of thing. Especially if they're being notated as celebrity in comics or because of comics. They're probably right. not, like, dedicating their life to crime fighting. They're, like, you know, a celebrity. But, like, I'm surprised, like, Tony Stark doesn't get it. Because he's, you know, make any sense to me that he billionaire, yeah. philanthropist, yeah. Play, like, playboy or whatever whatever he says in the movies. Um, so I'm surprised, like, Iron Man doesn't get it more often. Maybe it's because Iron Man is separate from Tony Stark, kind of like how Batman's separate from Bruce Wayne. But even Bruce Wayne, like, I didn't see, like, a lot of stuff that I kind of thought no. would make sense to have yeah. it. Um, but, yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, Tristan oh. just says Mojo, whatever that. The next Hero Clicks, Hero Clicks related thing on this live stream is going to be generic gallery. We'll go over our teams. It is Simeon's turn to do 300 Modern Age. It's my team, uh, my turn to do a Golden Age esque team. Now, to, I, I will be completely transparent. Um, it's not totally a. Do you need to look at all the screenshots? Uh, so we had. A uh, hat pull from Bill. Bill, so that's five dollars. <clears throat> Technically five dollars twenty eight cents. But the four chair shots are just to... forty. I got that. Okay. What are we missing? Um, we did that one. We did the seventy five one. We did the Bill. You did Devins. That might be it. Because the rest okay. of these, I think, are just bids on items right now. Is what we're at. Um, live stream donations. Yeah, and like I said, if you guys can use the live stream donations tab as much as possible, it'll really help us. Oh, yeah, Mojo us. does have celebrity. Um, th Mojo is kind of a heavy hitter if you want to play be. it. You're yeah. not wrong. Yeah, you can. You're right. Yeah, so, I mean, there is stuff out there. Um, celebrity. Simeon. We're at 799 Superman beat on from JLU. I'd settle for a rip, roar, and roast of Maggot. No, it's <laughs> part Dude, Maggot. Okay, so that's a that's discussion. Maggot sucks, man. People that like Maggot probably eat Maggots. Let's be real. I've seen some of y'all's teeth. Would not surprise me. Uh, I like the actual character in the comics. The Hero Clicks figure, I feel like they got away with a lot because, as you know, it was a uh, what team it's a championship figure? Yeah, a team champs uh, win winning figure. Um, I feel like the drop a pog and then pick the pog up in the same turn has never really been done never. before. No, no. And so, all. like, that that's, like, the thing that makes it, like, way too good. Also, the yep. fact that, like, you can't really, like, KO a pog unless it's sitting in, like, a Mystics figure or just, like, crit misses or something like that. You can't KO it because it's just, like, popping in, popping out constantly. Which I don't know if WizKids was, like, behind that when they designed it and they were like, oh, yeah, that's good, that's fine. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's, like... It makes sense as Maggot's character that he could drop it, pick it up, get a food token. It doesn't make sense that he could drop it, it do something, then him pick it up the same turn, because like that would be like beyond reaction speed if you're being like thematic about a game. Like you know, Maggot pops up like well, let's be realistic in a Hero Clicks game, it would be like Lila Cheney like zaps down in front of the Flash, plops Maggot in front of him. Maggot's like, Bleh. he shoots his little, he like, yeah, drops his little maggot. Yeah, the maggot's like, I'm gonna poison you, Flash, and Flash's like, ah, and poison, he, and then he just they, like reabsorbs it, it, and the Flash is like, I may be like the <clears throat> fastest man in the CW, but but uh, uh, what was that? What just happened? What just happened before my very CW. eyes? So can we talk about another thing really quick about Maggot? <laughs> For like what he does as a character, 
Um, I don't know. Was he made in the '90s or something? Because he's that way right. he's way more jacked than he actually needs to be for like his power, you know? Yeah. Like well, I feel like he should be like Nightcrawler, Spider Man levels of jacked, and like they just showed off Hasbro is making a Marvel Legend of him, and the the dude is just huge. I swear, when for he first appeared, reason, he was a mega, bad dude. He was a bad guy. But he was like, yeah, he was massive. Power. He was like uh, Shadow King like size. He was like this massive like dude. Um, but the like the more recent years, the one the ba- figures based off of, yeah, he's like slimmed down. He's like teen maggot almost, oh, okay, <laughs> which is like kind of teen like a maggot. weird look, but yeah, that's the kid that played with bugs in elementary school. Like, I mean, I hope my mutant power has something to do with maggots. It's so cool how if I leave rotting meat on my porch, I could they, be they invisible. Show up. I could be the kid with the beak over there. I could have like oh. multiple eyeballs on me. I could just be made out of like glob, like the glob guy. Uh, or I could I could be Sorry. a maggot. Okay. There are very good celebrities in WWE. So back to the celebrity keyword, shall we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> back to celebrity keyword. So my my team. I'll go. I'll go ahead and I'll go first. I I was building the casual team. This is a three hundred point casual team. Just because it's casual doesn't mean it's a bad team. It just means I had fun building it. I based it off of a movie. Um, and of course, since there are good celebrities in WWE, I based it off the best movie ever to have a WWE superstar. Uh, really quick. My shirt, Schmexy, is Ranch the Schmexy Ranch Hand. Ranch. So this is artwork done by Flork of Cows. He does all sorts of funny little sock puppet artwork, and he did an artwork of me, and I was wearing a suit at the time, so I have my tie, with my hat on. So I'm the sexy ranch man now. This is the Schmexy Ranch Hand, and you can get it if you join our Patreon. At Dialy Trier, who's Patreon slash Patreon Patreon dot com slash. Uh, chance Trier. there's not a specific uh, fund that you need to donate to if you're donating to Modest Needs. Um, so you can. The fun thing about Modest Needs, cool. and this is like side tangent stuff, but the fun thing Lots about Modest Needs tangents. is you can read individual stories. Uh, Modest Needs helps families that are on the borderline of poverty. Um, it helps them keep themselves out of poverty, whether that's like helping with rent, helping with a car payment. Uh, helping them fix their furnace for like the winter. Um, it's just these like small bills, and they're vetted. Uh, Modest Needs goes through and like make sure, um, like yes, they are low income. Yes, like you know this is a real bill that they have. They like vet all that stuff for us. So it's essentially like GoFundMe, but widespread. And so you can look through the different stories and pick out one specific one, or you can donate di- directly to Modest Needs, and then they'll spread the funds throughout. Either donation is fine. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a specific person or anything in mind. Um, obviously, like I donate to the the stories that like resonate with me more. But um, whatever you guys want to like donate to, obviously, is fine. Yeah. Thanks for that question, Chance. Yeah, absolutely. So my team for generic gallery. Uh, this is gonna be so much fun editing on some means part. Uh, generic gallery. This team is based off the greatest Spider-Man, one of the greatest Spider-Man movies ever made, uh, Spider-Man 2002. I know, sorry, it's not the Spider-Man 2, but this one has bone saw ants. We right off, we have Macho Man Randy Savage uh, at 100 points. We have Mary Jane at 15 points. We have J. Jonah Jameson from the Fast Forces of Superior Foes of Spider-Man at 25 points. We have the Civil War Zero uh, Thirteen Spider-Man at 80 points. We have Harry Osborn from uh, Superior Foes and Venom and all that jazz um, at 30 points. And we have Flash Thompson uh, at 35 points. And then sadly, it's it's not all celebrity in order to get all these guys on. So I did have to have Marvella. So it is it is a mostly celebrity celebrity turned Spider Man family theme team. It's only it's only Harry and Flash that break it, and it's it's an even wow. 300. I couldn't. I couldn't give up on that. Bone saw is ready. Oh yeah. Can we get? Can we get Got three you minutes? For three minutes. Get you for three, three minutes. minutes of playtime. Yeah. So, hey, get down from there, you little freak! I scream at the ceiling as if there's a Spider-Man up there. There's probably a spider Andrew right Garfield. And just turn around. It's like yes, a dollar. Whoa. <laughs> That's my favorite gift of it. <laughs> When your hands don't lurk that they used to before. Uh, base, so, like, basic team. Really, it's just Spider-Man and Macho Man uh, that are doing the most, like, damage. They're your main attackers, right? Uh, Mary Jane, of course. Paparazzi. In-cap people. Is there a copyable team ability on this team? I don't think there is. <laughs> I, uh, 
Mary Jane, Joe Jonah Jameson, Spider Man, Harry Osborne, maybe Avengers. I can't tell. This is a screenshot. Mm -hmm. um, but there's probably not a copyable team ability on this like team like at all. Um, but Marvella, of course, Barrier Flight, all that jazz. Um, Flash Thompson is great. I believe Flash Thompson is the sidestep ranged combat expert one, which to me makes no sense for Flash Thompson at all. But Flash Thompson is also a fine autonomous attacker. Harry Osborne, I would definitely use to base people. He is an 11 for 1 with precision strike, zero range. But uh, that J. Jonah Jameson, he has the whole, the world needs to know your secrets or whatever it is, you know, the whole world needs to know reporter thing they always used. Um, so his is uh, opposing characters in four squares at the beginning of the turn. They can't be given power actions this turn, which I think is awesome. Because I do believe running shot charge are now power actions, right? They're power actions. They, yes. They've always been power, power actions. Power move. to then free whatever. So power move, yeah. Have if he's within yeah. four, that can at very least definitely stump a lot of charge people. However, with Macho Man and Spider-Man, crazy close combat attackers, I think this is just a really fun team. You get to say all the bone saws, ready quotes. It's a very much, it has all the characters from the Spider-Man movie, plus Marvella. Uh, so <laughs> I mean, she's she's sort of Mary Jane's like, kind of there. She well, doesn't we, dress up like that, but we're uh, doubling up on Mary yeah, Jane. Yeah, yeah. Though. We've got Mary Jane and Marvel. Mm -hmm. And so. she wears more than one outfit. That's, that's true. Fine. It's true. She has like that weird red opera outfit. I don't know if it's in the first oh, one or the second right. one or whatever. Right. Or Anyways, third. who knows? Um, no one. Yeah. So <laughs> if Bruce Campbell had a hero looks figure, he would be on this team, of course. But this is just a really fun, simple team. What's now, your name, kid? What's your name, kid? Human Spider. <laughs> the name sucks. <laughs> uh, Just smack him down. Um, although that costume is iconic. That was a um, that was a second grade call oh, Halloween costume for sure. I think the, the um, worst thing about the Sam Raimi film, films, like ending where they did. Worst thing. Yeah, the okay. worst thing about them ending okay. where they did. Because I honestly, I like the Garfield films slightly more than the Raimi ones. And I like the new Tom Holland like stuff, obviously because it ties okay. into the Avengers. Okay. But Bruce Campbell was like pegged to be oh. Mysterio at one point. Yeah, yeah, I did hear that. He makes yeah. multiple appearances like throughout the Raimi films, and that would have been really sweet. And he also voices uh, the narrator in uh, Spider-Man Two: The Video Game, which is just which a is really super cool. solid game. It's really cool. Back then, um, I don't know if it holds up today, but it was a super solid game when it came yeah. out. So, this Spider-Man is also my hidden gem. Wow, it looks like a diamond. Oh, um, yeah. Whatever we else. play that bumper. But wait, wow, that looks like a diamond. Anyways, <laughs> so this is the Spider-Man from Civil War. He's only 80 points. What are we looking at? Looking at whatever I want to look at. Uh, he's only 80 points. He has four range, one bolt. He's an 11 for three top dial. But I just, I really enjoy this figure to me feels a lot like spider-man this is what i think of spider-man i had there was some dude who had a terrible like hot take on that like 11 click long captain america yeah he was like i can't believe captain america gets this long dial these dials should be for spider-man he's so much stronger than captain america and it's like dude shut up like spider-man's resilient yes and spider-man is yes physically stronger because of superpowers and yes physically tougher because again superpowers but like Captain America, when you think of, like, resilience and never giving up, that's Captain America. Spider-Man has it to, a, to an extent. Um, but, like, Spider-Man's never getting impervious. That's not happening. Um, anyways, this Spider-Man, he has improved movement. He ignores elevated and hindering for, you know, it's old, so. But ignores elevated, which is huge. Spider-Man TA, of course, 80 points. Um, he has the annoying arachnid. I love this trait for him. Spider-Man can use super senses. If he is hit with a close combat attack this turn... He can use sidestep this turn and automatically breaks away when doing so. Oh, if he hits. So if he hits with a close combat attack, he can use sidestep this turn and automatically breaks away when doing so. He normally doesn't ignore characters. So it works great with his amazing, spectacular, sensational, which is a hilarious speed power because those were all the adjectives that were used before him, you know, before. Spider-Man has charge flurry. So he is an 11 for 3. Charge flurry, 9 speed, uh, 17 defense with ESD. At first, you're like, uh, ESD on a charge flurry piece. That's really dumb. But then you remember that if he hits with one of those attacks, he gets to instantly sidestep back. That's amazing. Like, that makes sense with the ESD. You know, it doesn't give him the greatest amount of room, um, but it's still really, really cool. And it feels like Spider-Man. And when he eventually drops ESD and everything, he goes to charge, super strength, perplex. So, I love it. Anyways, uh, but, you know, Spider-Man rolls on to willpower. I like it when he has willpower at the end of his dial that feels like Spider-Man. I like that he's more of the playing around, messing with you Spider-Man on the first two clicks, and then in the middle he's charged, super strength, combat reflexes, perplex. Like, boom. Really, really good. Hits you really, really hard. 
I love that. Um, he's like, okay, enough being serious. Boom, we're just gonna punch you. You know, wait, sorry. I still think it's dumb. I don't know what you think dumb is. If you think Spider Man's dumb, you're correct. Spider Man's a dumb <laughs> character, he's a terrible character. Peter Parker is the worst. Um, but I do like this Spider Man. I like him a lot. I th- and the reason I think he's a hidden gem is because I think outside of Civil War, Civil War was a set that was made for sealed, that was made for the battle royale format, that had goofy point values. I don't think people really pulled much out of Civil War outside of when they played sealed for that set. I've never seen anyone talk about this Spider-Man, and honestly, looking at him, to me, this is, like, the best, like, the most accurate Spider-Man, personally. I think he's, like, one of the best Spider-Mans. I think he really fits the bill. I think he really feels good. Even better than Handstand Spidey, and people were like, yo, Handstand Spidey's amazing. But I think the sidestep away is so much better than just giving him hypersonic speed, personally. Because hypersonic speed is like Flash level stuff, right? Nightcrawler level stuff. Sidestep away, that's Spider-Man to me. I think personally the Spider-Man should maybe have traded Perplex uh, as like a banter. But his whole annoying thing really, really works. So this is my hidden gem. That's what I'm calling. That's my celebrity theme team. Uh, Spider-Man family theme team. Celebrity mostly keyword here. So if you want to build it, it is a 2002 reference to the Spider-Man movie. So really quick, it is Macho Man Randy Savage at 100, Mary Jane at 15, J. Jonah Jameson, Fast Forces, Superior Force of Spider-Man, J. Jonah Jameson, uh, Civil War, 013 Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man villain, Absolute Carnage, Harry Osborn, and Flash Thompson, and then Absolute Carnage, Marvella for an even 300 point team. That is my generic gallery team, Simeon. What is your generic gallery team? We, like I said, so... I had to dip into the Spider-Man family keyword to round it out to make it make sense thematically and casually. I think it's a fun casual team um, for a Golden Age night if we're doing it very like whatever. But why don't you go ahead and get into a trying to like I guess an optimized build? Yeah, sort so, of. Boots. I don't want to say like meta competitive, no, but like this isn't this optimized. isn't something you could take to like a WKO or an ROC kind of like estates anything like that. Uh, so this team is essentially optimized for modern three hundred now. When I say optimized, I mean this could definitely like be a competitive build that you bring to your local shop. It could be a competitive build you take to a WKO. Are you going to win with it? Probably not. It's not like, you know, the obviously building with like celebrity, these like underused generic yeah. keywords um, isn't the easiest route to go. So could you win with it? Yes. Is it optimized for that? Yes. But you'd have to practice it a lot. And it's honestly, you're not going to have the best pulls of characters from this kind of list. So I stuck with a purely celebrity keyword. I did have the option, like Calder did, to add some Spider Man family stuff in. Um, but I thought Mary Jane and Marvella were both like fine on their own without adding the Spider Man filler. So I went with Diamond Patch on the 40 point line. Now, Diamond Can Patch. Sure? Really? He does, yeah. In, in their he? warp world. In the warp world, like thing, yeah, yeah, uh, it's wow. because he's he's like a bar owner, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a celebrity. That's cool. Uh, but Diamond Patch, uh, the main thing that you're going to use Diamond Patch for is uh, the I can smell who you are special power for the forty point line, and that is uh, opposing characters within six squares can't use the following: shape change, stealth, or keywords that are not printed on their cards. Um, now he's also got traded in vulnerability. And he can reduce pen damage, so it's essentially traded. Even though it's like on the bench, it's traded invincible, essentially, uh, at least the new invincible. And then at the beginning of your turn, you heal one click. So if you get knocked down, dial. He's got flurry and uh, steel energy, so he can heal that way. Or at the beginning of your turn, you just heal back to that top click. Anyhow, great forty-point piece. He can be a good attacker. Um, but it's mostly reducing mm. your opponent's uh, chances of using shape change and stealth, kind of like negating that. Then, of course, as I said, Mary Jane Watson, she makes paparazzis. She's a great 15-point piece. Paparazzis can do a lot of stuff. Then I've got one of Calder's favorite pieces from the Captain America and the Avengers set, Skyne, who gives all adjacent <laughs> friendlies oh, you, oh, I hate you so shape much. change. So you everyone like on this that, team really like around her, scumbag. Uh, she's got sidestep and flight too, so she's not like a slouch when it comes to carrying. And then she's got a incapacitate power with four range and three lightning bolts. So not like a bad figure for 50 points all around, but it's mostly that defense. Then we did the PS4 Spidey from Captain America in the Avengers set, the super rare. Who can switch between the two dials? Yeah, 
Yeah, he's on. He's in a I game. I swear, I looked at these. Wow, that's <laughs> I mean, so good. Either that or HC Realms is real bad. Yeah, but wow. So to go with him, he has traded super senses. He can switch between his attack and defense kind of stuff, his in cap and like quake clicks. And then to go with him, uh, I threw in the Wonder Woman's bracelets. So not only does he oh, have scumbag. traded super senses on a four through six, uh, he essentially has traded super senses on a three through six with protected outwit traded. Um, so makes him really, really rough to get around. I threw in the Scott Porter pog for another in cap, another, uh, team ability that you can copy or he can copy another team ability. And then his perplex. That's just sort of good for 20 points. Uh, three Marvellas for just a ton of barrier Are and empower. Serious? Just absolutely nail out the barrier, <laughs> nail out the empower. <laughs> Anytime you make an attack, it's going to be sweet. And then Dazzler, Dazzler from the Empire set, who's got the shield and X-Men team ability for all those Spider-Man friends to copy. They can either copy shield or X-Men. Yeah. Hi, Milo. Uh, and then uh, last thing on, well, actually, that's, that's the whole team. Uh, it's mostly just a bunch of little dudes who can protect themselves really well and then do, like, big attacks every so often. My value corner piece is actually Roman Reigns because his bottom no, dial... No! His bottom what dial is sidestep about? flurry. When he uses flurry, he can move one square after the first attack resolves, and then his signature move gives him charge, and when he uses it, he doesn't have his speed value, and after resolutions, you heal him one click for each character he hit. So he can go six squares... Stats. Plus, okay. he can go six squares plus sidestep, so like eight square charge okay. when he's got one token. Okay. Flurry with close combat expert, so he's a 12 for three when he does that. Not bad. How for, cheap is he, though? For 40 points. 40 uh, points? All WWE characters are essentially are eight bucks. Eight bucks. But I think you can uh, if you can find him. Yeah, he's probably cheaper now. But um, cool stuff doesn't have him in stock right now. Oh. And okay. speaking of in stock, I have to see what Milo's getting into. Okay. Um, so we do have a few things updated here. Uh, we have some great... Uh, Super 4 is awesome. Yes, no, PS4 Spidey's amazing. I can't believe I missed that he has a celebrity keyword. That's wild to me. Um, so looking at the live stream donations, we have another $30 coming from Alex. Uh, he says, four hat draws, and I get to go either on a tirade about cows or the Witcher, and that is Simeon's choice. So, Simeon, can I talk about cows for really quick? I know the one guy who goes, Mangoes! Arthur! One more job, Arthur! You know? <laughs> um, but, really quick, fun fact about my cows. If you've seen Jack Link's beef jerky, there was a time where the guy that ran the feedlot that we sold our calves to, typically he buys our calves every year. They, they always go to auction, but he typically buys them every year if that makes sense to everybody right we don't have just a deal where he's just going to buy them we still want them to go to auction we still want them to raise as much as possible but this guy knows our cattle he likes our calves he will typically always buy them most of the time sometimes he doesn't there's been a few years where he doesn't or whatever which is fine but he has one of the nicer feedlots in our area ah uh, it's all right girl that's what you mean okay uh, <laughs> does, that, does that sound western enough for you guys anyways um, but if you've ever been to a grocery store or a gas station, you'll have probably seen Jack Link's beef jerky. And there was a time where I think two years in a row, it is Angus, sorry. Uh, we raised Angus cows. So, uh, Angus are black. We have, uh, Angus, <laughs> Angus are black. most cows are black. Um, anyways, yeah. So all of ours are Angus beef. Um, anyways, they went to Jack Link's and it's really cool that, that like two years in a row, our calves all went to Jack Link's beef jerky. I just think that's really that's really neat. It shows a lot to me about the company that they're not like a McDonald's or a Burger King or yeah. whatever, and have like uh, this feed lot that is like super super close together, whatever, right? And instead, it is like boom, they bought our cows from our thing. That is my cow tirade. That's my fun fact. That's how my operation works. Um, okay. A cow has also broke several bones in my body before. Um, They'll do that. We're gonna do our hat draws for Alex, then we'll try to get to the chat here. Do our yeah. chat really quick. Uh, I will say. So Andrew Elliott asked uh, what my favorite place I've hiked or camped. Uh, favorite place I've hiked is Rose Lake in Colorado, uh, right in right outside of Estes Park. And then favorite place I've ever camped is the Niobrara. Um, so like Sparks County in Nebraska. Um, it's just it's crazy. Like you can literally camp about 30 feet from a waterfall and like falling asleep to a waterfall, waking up, crossing like the stream or like the river, I guess not really a stream, 
uh, but crossing the river and like hanging out in the like jacuzzi waterfall and stuff like that. Like some of the best times in my life. I've been out there five times at this point, and every single time it's just incredibly awesome. So that's my favorite place to camp. Um, I've camped a lot of places though. There's like some great places in Iowa, some great places in Colorado. And though in Colorado, I usually sleep in my car. Like I, I don't really like set up a tent and stuff. I uh, mostly just like park in Boulder and sleep in my car for the night, and then keep on my way. It's not like you hate Colorado that much. No, there's a lot of wildlife in Colorado. Yeah, they're there's good there's some areas. good places. I've, to camp. I've driven through like state parks and stuff in Colorado. They're pretty. They're nice. Yeah, it's just not really like camping places because they're like sure. they're very. So the thing I love about the Niagara is they're. Certain times of the year, there's no the one Niagara there. So much. The Niagara awesome. is so awesome. If and you ever are in Nebraska, <laughs> um, yeah. it's the most un-Nebraska part of. Yeah, Valentine. Yeah, Valentine. Um, so nice. Sparks County. Yeah, it's. Raft. I mean, technically, like the Niagara, like or yeah, like rafting or whatever. The Niagara stretches a huge section. It's a big river, but that specific section of the Niagara is really cool yeah. because uh, it's got like you know Smith Falls, all that kind of stuff is there. Um, <laughs> really quick. Uh, no, we are not brothers, uh, Jeremy. I am a Ness. He is a Bruce. Yeah. Uh, for last names, um, let's try to <laughs> let's do these really quickly. Um, how many of you use Colin tucks his jeans into his boots? Uh, I do not. I do not tuck my jeans into my boots. Uh, only farmers <laughs> do that. Only people from Florida do that. Uh, do you ever talk to your cows, Arthur Morgan? Oh, we already did this. Um, do I give my cows a COVID vaccine? No. I don't know if they can get it or not. I don't I, think so, but if they can, it's not that big of a deal. Them. We gave um, ours um, antibiotics, but that was just... Yeah, like, we give them antibiotics and yeah. stuff, too. So, lick tubs. If you don't know this, lick tubs have a lot of vitamins and minerals that give yeah. them just a natural... Lick tubs are mostly molasses and other stuff, right? Um, a, a ton of just natural antibodies, vitamins, minerals, everything they need to stay healthier when they're just out, you know. I mean, they're just freaking out in nature, you know. Yeah. Um, Cows so, are also, like, one of the most resilient they're super animals. super tough, yeah. I've literally, I've seen a cow have its face torn away from its skull, like, muscle and, like, just, like, viscera. And yeah. we just, like, slapped some, like, antibiotic, like, cream and stuff on it and, like, threw it back on, stitched it back, and it was fine, like, two weeks I later. Love that. <laughs> Like, she had two calves, and she also yeah. had uh, asthma, or not asthma. She had um, two calves without a C-section? She had two calves, yeah. And Did she have twins, or she had two calves in her lifetime, you mean? No, twins. She had twins? Yeah. Dang, really and then, um, what was it? Pneumonia. She had pneumonia at the same time as well. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy, like, the amount of um, abuse a cow can pick up with. Uh, Send me favorite camp. Uh, does anyone there grow Brahma? Not that I know of. Do you get free jerky? I don't get free jerky. We get free honey from people that keep bees on our property, though. We're not brothers. Um, Ruffy. I don't know what a Ruffy is. I assume like a roughneck, someone living out in the country. And then Andrew Elliott says, oh, this is more towards you, though, I guess. Um, you the that. Tetons, Grand Tetons. I've been out there as well. I camped in the Tetons next to a brook. And there's okay. like, you know, I just literally, there's a dirt road that you can like follow from one of the campgrounds. Um, parked out in like a grove of trees and woke up next to a brook with the sun coming up over the Tetons, cooked some bacon and eggs and hash browns. It was, that that was also one of like my favorite times. Uh, The thing about the Tetons is like, you got to do Yellowstone. You got to do like a Mm. bunch of stuff if you're already going out that way. And so I didn't spend a ton of time in the Tetons, but it is great hiking too. Um, Trying to do Banff. I don't know what that is. Uh, trying to get to Canada. The last two years have been rough. Yeah, but it's been a little hard to get into Canada. As okay, late. Alex has so, four hat draws. Yeah. Alex's tirade. Simeon talks about his expertise in cardboard furniture. All right, so... <laughs> if I'm you... dizzy. My head is super dizzy for the chair. <laughs> Relax for a while. Uh, so if you guys didn't know, uh, for like eight months, Nebraska Furniture Mart yanked me back and forth like waiting for a desk they said it's gonna be here in two weeks it's gonna be here in two weeks um in that entire time i used a box exactly like this and it's not it's not like a weak box it's a it's a strong box this box is so strong and i used it to hold not only my 1600 hundred dollar dollar computer off of the ground so it wouldn't get wet but also i used two to get my monitor at like a somewhat head height that like would make sense so i could actually see my monitor um and i used like a regular chair i didn't use uh my hair is long it's it's beautiful too um 
I'm actually growing out my hair for wigs for kids. So it's not just because I don't like to get my hair cut. Uh, there's a reason behind it. But anyhow, boxes stacked made the longest, ugliest setup of desk. And I recorded probably every, like almost everything that you heard on episode 399.5 from the cardboard desk like that the cardboard desk was a huge staple uh part of our intro um where calder goes are you kidding me that is when i explained to him that i still do not have a desk uh because i'm Sounds still so yeah I, I, I still have like the cardboard at that point um obviously now i have a version of a desk that's not made out of cardboard um but yes Cardboard furniture is legitimate. Uh, you can live in this. This is like, like I said, like, like punch this. Yeah. Wow, no dent at all. What? That's, that's structurally this sound. Is, this is thick. You could build houses on these. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> I don't uh, know how to build houses. On them. But yeah, it's like, I mean, cardboard oh. furniture is fine if Nebraska Furniture Mart won't get your desk to you in time, and then you eventually have to build your own after. Jeez, it's almost been two years. Um, wow. But yes. Uh, Simeon, you're both big movie fans. Do you two have any movies that you think are secret gems? Ooh. Movies you think are secret gems. I have a lot of movies I hate. I'm talking yeah. of movies that I think are really good. Okay, I, I have, do have one yeah. that's a secret gem. I've I got do a have couple. One. Um, this one I don't know if you can find anywhere. Do you want to say yours? I'm going to think of one that's probably able to actually find. So I, I've talked about them on the podcast before, but um, I don't know who the director is, but there's a movie called... Risk Cutter's a love story that has Tom Chris Waits and um, the lead singer from like Gogol Bordello and like it's a very indie film, but it's like essentially like they're in purgatory and everything's the same but slightly worse. And like one chick's like, I don't belong here. I'm trying to find the people in charge. And then like you know, spoiler, they eventually do. Um, wow. And then like Mood Indigo is like just a wacky film that's okay. really fun, but that's like a foreign one. It's very artsy. I like artsy stuff. I like Wes Anderson. If you ask me questions about like movies I really like, it's going to be those kind of answers. So um, fair warning. Wes Anderson is great. Uh, I've only seen his animated stuff. <laughs> Jeremy Johnson says y'all are so, short kings. So really quick, Jeremy, I am <laughs> six foot tall. Yeah. Like, I mean, Simeon's not that short yeah, either. I'm, I'm 5'9". Which is I don't... standard for a guy. I think that's average male height. That's I, not short. I, I felt short like anytime I'm on a college campus. But I tell you what, like, I am taller than every single one of you when I'm on top of a billboard. So, <laughs> so like, really, I don't care. Like, um, go grow Badello. Yes. So, for my movie recommendations, uh, really quick. Yeah. So, Luke's seen it. Go it's go a great. Badello. Uh, no, a uh, wrist cutter's a love story. Uh, ow, damn, I love it. <laughs> it bit me. Or sort of got tooth in there or something. Anyway, sorry. Uh, really quickly, my movie <laughs> recommendations. Um, Turkish. Spider-Man. Turkish Spider-Man is the best subbed movie that I will you will ever watch in your entire lives. So, it is a movie made in Turkey. It is not at all approved by Marvel. It has Spider-Man, it has Captain America, and it has like a random luchador wrestler. Spider-Man, it's like people who just saw what the heroes are and they're like, okay, he's probably a villain. Okay, Stars and Stripes, he's probably a hero. So Captain America's a hero who works with this like luchador guy, right? And Spider-Man is a mafia boss who just stabs people whenever he wants. Near the end of the film, Spider they kind of try to track down Spider-Man, and they just keep killing versions of him, but it's clones. They have not found the real Spider-Man yet, and so they just keep killing Spider-Man clones. So, Turkish Spider-Man. We will do a movie night Turkish Spider-Man for Patreon, I promise you. Because I have not seen this movie. It doesn't exist anywhere. I had to get it on bootleg DVD, like... <laughs> At a convention, like, DVD booth. You've seen those. Um, but for a movie you can probably watch somewhere else, this is one of my favorite sci-fi movies as a kid. It's really weird, now that I think about it, but Enemy Mine? Do you know what Enemy Mine is, Simi? Yeah, Enemy okay, Mine. I think it's probably pretty popular. Is it John Travolta? I honestly don't remember who the main guy is, but it, a guy is stranded on an alien planet, basically. Yes. And no, that's he's... not Enemy Mine. That's Battlefield Earth. Okay, yeah. yeah. Enemy Mine's, yeah, they two... They essentially, alien two aliens a... like shoot them each other down. Yes, and then have to work together. Have to work together, yeah. like yeah. So, enemy mine is is solid. Yeah, I know. I said I said, dang, but the bad version of dang when mm. Milo bit me, uh, <laughs> or toothed to me. 
Um, so anyways, those are my two movies that I think are just absolute hidden gems. Uh, if you can watch it, it's on Amazon, but Velocipaster, as in like a, it's so bad, it's good. Like, it's absolutely terrible. Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid is the guy who's the human-ish guy, and yeah, he's just human guy. Um, but like, you see them like work together, and then they're like, they like, it's just really cool. There's something about it. Stephen Friedman may also be in that movie. Yeah. I don't know. I've seen any of my long time ago. Uh, Tremors. If you haven't seen the Tremors franchise, Dennis Quaid. You should also just watch Tremors. Tremors is just awesome. Quaid. Every single movie in Tremors is good. Yeah. Um, Tremors is. That's a lie. Not every movie is one good. One through three is pretty solid. One through three is solid. I thought four was fine when they go back yeah. in time. That's not bad. Not bad. Five and six are terrible. But the latest one that came out, like last year, they're still making them because uh, the guy that plays Bert is like, give me money, uh, which I can't blame him. Um,. He's actually good. They got rid of his, like, son character in Tremors. That was in the fifth one, and it's so much better. Velocipaster is fantastic, and by fantastic, I mean utterly appalling and horrible. They, they not only See. get so much wrong about Catholicism, but they don't even know which dinosaur he's supposed to be. Because <laughs> he's supposed to be a raptor. An Utah raptor would be the but correct he, size, yeah. But he turns into a T-Rex at the end of the oh, movie. Spoiler alert for oh, Velocipaster. Okay, ruined. so really quickly. Uh, Henry is there a character Borkman. that Simeon likes anywhere close to as much color likes Captain America? Yes. Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I have him tattooed on my body. So what? It's like... I've never seen a Wolverine tattoo. Really? Tramp stamp? No. Where? On my chest. Is that your bicep? No. no. What is that one? Is that a gun? <laughs> that's a gun. That's a gun. That's my love gun. Uh, for for the chat. <laughs> Don't show Obviously, your chest. you know. When do you think I would have seen your bare naked chest? When do you think I would have seen that, Simeon? I don't know. Well, wait. When it... Shut that. Oh, oh, wait, oh. Wait, where is it? Oh, that's cool. I didn't it's... even know you had that. So it's the Vitruvian Man, but right. with Wolverine. <laughs> No, he's oh clothed. He's man. he's in costume. Uh, the Vitruvian Man, of course, one of Da Vinci's great works, where it right. was like you know essentially like the perfect man. Um, I was young when I got it. I'm not saying Wolverine's the perfect man. It's just a cool combo of like it this is. classic no, art it's... and a character that I really love and like have watched and like wow. grown up and with and stuff. But, I would never uh, get Captain America tattooed on my body. So well, I think that's you like he's you like Wolverine. Not as good. Uh, wow. <laughs> Wow. Andrew so Elliott says he likes our movie answers. Good. He hasn't heard of any of them. Quite impressive. Seriously, Turkish Spider-Man. Velocipaster. Sounds, so bad it's Turkish Spider-Man sounds like a real trip. Oh, uh, sounds... Read a page from a conspiracy book for Bill. Oh, Bill. This, you, this get, is... you get a page from the conspiracy book. Uh, really quickly, if anybody donates 15 or $20, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel like, to my charity, American Cancer Society, in the next... 10 minutes, I will do my musical number from Elf the Musical, there as best go. as I can remember, with the dance. Danny DeVito in his day equals Puck, in my honest opinion. True. Ooh. I mean, yeah. Puck also a great option. He would be a, a good option. Puck. I mean, if he was younger, he'd be <laughs> yeah. a good Puck. I don't know if you can cast Puck, because it's just way, like, you'd have to... Uh, when was this written? Yeah. Bill um, yeah, conspiracy. Man, I don't know, but he died in like the 90s. So, uh... Chapter 12, The Secret Government. Are you guys ready for Sorry, this? Sorry, I want you to read that, because I have to think about this, because that's that's killing me. Thanks, Chance, you suck. All right. <laughs> All, right. All right, Chapter 12, The Secret Government. Now, everyone's going to... You're going to have to put on your, like, big-time listening ears and really focus, because this is, like, typing in all caps and then setting it through, like, multiple trans like uh, translators... And then back to English. Okay. Perspective. Many sources of information were used to research this chapter. I originally wrote this piece on a research paper. It was first delivered at the MUFON Symposium of July 2nd, 1989 in Las Vegas, Nevada. MUFON, for the unaware, is like uh, the UFO investigator group. Okay. It's like a self uh, one. Um, most of this knowledge comes directly from or is a result of my own research into the top secret in all caps, magic material, which I saw and read between the years 1970 and 1973 as a member of the intelligence briefing team of the Commander-in-Chief of the Pacific Fleet. Since some of this information was derived from sources that I cannot divulge for obvious reasons and from published sources which I cannot vouch for, this chapter must be termed a hypothesis. I firmly believe that if aliens are real, this is the true nature of the beast." It is the only scenario that has been able to blind all the diverse elements. It is the only scenario that answers all the questions and places the various fundamental mysteries in an arena that makes sense. It is the only explanation which shows the chronology of events and demonstrates that the chronologies, when assembled, match perfectly. The bulk of this, I believe to be true if the material that I viewed 
in the Navy is authentic. As for the rest, I do not know, and that is why the paper must be termed a hypothesis. Most historic and current available eth- evidence supports this hypothesis. Second paragraph. The secret government. During the years following World War II, the government of the United States was confronted with a series of events which were to change beyond prediction its future and with it the future of humanity. These events were so incredible that they defied belief. A stunned President Truman and his top military commanders found themselves virtually impotent after having just won the most devastating and costly war in history. The United States had developed, used, and was the only nation on Earth in possession of the atomic bomb. This new weapon had the potential to destroy an enemy and even the Earth itself. This is where it gets fun. At the time of the United (laughs) States, had the best economy, most advanced technology, the highest standard of living, living, exerted the most influence, and fielded the largest and most powerful military forces in history. We can only imagine the confusion and concern when informed elite of the United States government discovered that an alien spacecraft piloted by insect-like beings from a totally incomprehensible culture had crashed in the desert of New Mexico. Between January 1947 and December 1952, at least 16 crashed or downed alien craft, 65 alien bodies and one live alien were recovered. An additional alien craft had exploded and nothing was recovered from that. Incident. It's good old Bill Cooper. No. You can't get like more than a paragraph. So I'm sorry, chat. We are like completely off. Uh, You can't get more than a paragraph into any of his pages without it like going to all caps where he's just like, the real truth of the entire United States. And you're like, okay, yeah, the United States was a big military power in the 1945. Like, yeah, yeah, like nukes, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, insect like beans. And you're just like, whoa. (laughs) You're like, you, you were like, I was following you. You were making a lot of sense. And then all of a sudden you were like, Yo, these insects up in space. I, I think that's they keep crashing. <laughs> no, like I'm like I don't know. At least one live insect. <laughs> Works yeah, again. we've got uh, one in Omaha here called Next Millennium. Um, oh, you see? <laughs> yeah, she's like very nice crystals. Would you like a candle um, that can cancel out right. taxes? Is, do they sell candles that ta- cancel out taxes? Sure. I'm not a witch, but I mean, I'd try a candle that cancels out taxes. I don't think the IRS would take it, but. All right. What do you want to talk about? Uh, wanna... So what I do want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I I said at the beginning of the show, almost two hours and 20 minutes ago at this point, um, I did play in a War of the Realms oh, pre-release. What did you pull? So garbage. Uh, <laughs> so I pulled like the rare shifting focus <laughs> Thor. So you got uh, what everybody gets. When yeah, I got, set. You got double garbage. rares. Um, oh, man, that sucks. The team I made, I can't tell you everything that I pulled because I can't remember. But the team I made, you can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, it was five commons though. So it was the common Hulk. It was the common Spider Man. Uh, the common man. Let's see. Uh, Black Panther. The common Blade, and the common Sif, Lady Sif. I think I literally only know what Sif does. The rest yeah. of those I completely forgot. What so to do. Hulk's thing is like. We we talked about him on the show and we we're like, what a garbage dial. You're never gonna get hit to like the right spot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's like really good right in the middle, yeah. like about four damage. Well, like I went up against a destroyer who does four damage, so like ah. knocks him like right to it. And uh, then like he's got non-prime, combat right? non-prime, non-prime, sure. yeah. non-prime, yeah. Uh, so he's got combat reflexes, most of his dial, and then he's got traded invuln and passes out toughness to all Avengers. So my team was an Avengers theme team, five characters. Um, Spider-Man gives every Avenger super senses, just okay. regardless of everything. Like just period. They get all. They all get super senses. Awesome. Um, Lady Sif, of course, has traded Flurry, and then her Rally die of one. When you roll like a one for friendly attacks, you get uh, to make a. You can remove one to make a close attack for free. Um, she actually like flurried and rolled ones to make. Yeah like her own rally dies and those were pretty solid nice. and then uh black panther just has traded leadership and his rally one so he's also got a rally one his rally one is just basically make opposing characters not hit their leadership which like never mattered 
what in the world? He's a leadership. He just cancels leadership. Yeah, he's leadership, and then for like on a rally one. So it's like, do I let Sif make a free attack, or do I let Black Panther like negate a five six roll? That's so bad. And I'm like, you know, that might be situation situationally good, um, but like I only used it once, and it was only because Sif was already dead. <laughs> so. Wow. Like, he was the only one to give the die to. Uh, but, yeah, Spider-Man giving everyone super senses in a set that's not got a ton no, of outwit. No precision strike. No precision still strike. Still benched. Yeah. Cool. Thanks a lot. Really solid. It. Um, it actually, in my first game, it was against Destroyer Donald Blake, who, when Donald Blake attacks, opposing characters can't use defense powers, which is just like... It's not hit characters. Ugh. It's just opposing period. It's opposing. That so sucks. it like shuts off super that's senses and stuff, too. Um, and then he had the the lady that switches into Valkyrie, but like she's yeah, the normal she version. Like doctor or something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's got outwit. Really bad dial. It's really like, bad dial. Yeah, it's it's 50, not worth. 50 it's fifty points, points it's for like points. bonus outwit. No, it's and I killed her in like two turns. Dial. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, well, by the time I got to her, I killed her. her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's bad. But like I said, like Destroyer hit the Hulk. To the sweet spot, Destroyer would have pen side Hulk twice after that had it not been for Spider Man hitting those Super Sense rolls, and that was like super solid. And then Donald Blake takes out Spider Man because obviously he can't use Super Senses. Right. Um, he had nothing else. I managed to take out like so. I Blade and Lady Sif rolled like real bad against Destroyer with their blades, and then real hot. It was like six back to back on blades. Yeah. Just, like, took him, like, down dial, and I managed to, like, clean him up, and then uh, went after Donald Blake, and, like, same story. It was, like, three on one, and even though at one point he's got, like, Quake or something where he can target all the characters. Then they have no defense. It's really good. With no defense, yeah. yeah. That's good. That's and good. it's, like, rough, but, like, at that point he just missed. And then uh, my other game was against, like, Crusader... Also Spider-Man, which like a Spider-Man v Spider-Man in sealed is so rough because you need to take out that Spider-Man so that you can actually hit because Super Senses is so good to have on all of your characters, yeah. but it's so bad to have on all their characters. Uh, plus he's top dial outwit, so that's like also huge. Um, but yeah, it was like those five characters. There's also a Black Widow that I pulled and like couldn't fit on the team, but she gives all Avengers stealth. Stealth, yeah. So she is good, yeah. It's like. I could have had stealth, super senses, and Hulk's like giving toughness out to all Avengers. Normal destroyer, Tristan. This Not great. Normal but... destroyer. Oh, sorry, keep going. No, no. Still that's... long dial though. Still yeah. long dial. Still a lot of cheat through. Yeah. You won that game though. Yeah. Good stuff. Wow. I, I won. So I, we only played two games, but yeah, I won both. Dude, Crusader and... also long dial. Yeah, Crusader was not just long dial, insane. Reducers the whole dial, like especially if you don't Is have it outwit. All impervious, impervious, it's in a in ton of impervious, and then it goes to invuln, but it like never dips off of invuln. Like there was never like a oh toughness, I can hit her with Hulk. Also, he was smart enough to never hit Hulk to a good click, so Hulk was always a ten for three that game. And that is basically all of the hero clicks talk that happened in the live stream. Uh, like I said before, it was eight hours long, about a eight hours and thirteen minutes or so. Um, if you want to see all the chair shots, all of the conspiracy book readings, all of the fun little takeaways that I couldn't include because it was obviously way too long for a normal podcast, uh, feel free to watch the video. It's up on YouTube. I know me and Calder both had a really fun time while we were recording it. Uh, the chat was pretty active, so you'll have to kind of balance if you watch it between watching the comments and what we were responding to. Otherwise, you might get lost. But there's not a lot of other Heroclix related content other than when the last couple hours we start doing some Bad Sam with some call-in guests. So that might be another episode that I'll release at some point. Otherwise, it'll be up on YouTube for your watching slash listening pleasure. And like always, and once again, Dial H for Heroclix is brought to you in part by CoolStuffInc.com. We can find cool stuff in stock every day, including the latest Heroclix sealed and singles products. So check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Here's Calder saying happy trails a whole bunch. Yeah. Happy trails. Happy trails. Happy trails. Happy trails. <laughs> happy trails. Jay! Happy trails. I appreciate happy you. Happy trails. Thank you happy for trails. listening. Happy trails. Thank you for listening to Dollar Tree Heroclix. Happy trails. Join our discord for uh donating to the auction 
do the auction stuff. It's awesome. Happy trails. Happy trails. Happy trails. Happy trails. Happy trails. Happy, thank you. Happy trails. Happy trails. Happy trails. Happy trails. Happy trails. What did I say that one time? You can't escape the police. Do <laughs> you remember that? Remember when I said that? I said you can't escape the police. You can't escape the police. Happy and then we, we, play, we play the outro of the police. Play the outro. Yeah. Yeah, happy trails. Happy trails. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional. Hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how would six how people humor? think I am funny? It's a hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which you absolute fools? It's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding me? Hey, Google, attack someone. Let's attack Simeon because he's a jerk. That's true.